that is never too full to fit whatever your mind imagines, but is always filled to the brim with the magic of our imaginations. As a special storybook about me, the Tooth Fairy is waiting for you. Oh my, a letter from the Tooth Fairy herself. This must be a very special storybook surprise. We better start looking for this box. Let's see. Maybe it's in my lunch box. Mm. Oh, well, guess it's not in the lunch box. Maybe in the cereal box. Mm. Guess not. Maybe it's in my toy box. Hello there, Fizzle. Oh, and Bizzle. I'm just looking for a from the Tooth Fairy. Nope, nothing in here. Everybody can go back to sleep. I know, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. I apologize. Okay, pretend I never came. I never came in. Maybe it's in the cookie jar. Okay, I know that technically a cookie jar isn't a box, but you know, sometimes you just want a cookie. Mm -hmm. Such luck so far. Do you have any ideas? Well, I guess in the meantime, while we give this clue some more thought, I should go about my day, do some chores, check my mail. <laughs> I'd better check the official Miss Storybook Imaginable Mail. Story 
entitled <clears throat> The Two Fairies Tommy A. Coon by Lori Orlinsky, illustrated by Vanessa Alexandri. <clears throat> you see, it happened when I was eating a juicy red apple for snack. Mm -hmm. I was chewing and chomping when suddenly <gasps> I bit down and heard a crack. <clears throat> My first tooth was finally out. All it took was something yummy. <laughs> But when I went to collect it from my mouth, I realized oh, it had landed oh, in my tummy. Oh, that wasn't the plan. I had thought in my head. I had to think of something fast before I went to bed. I searched high and low for something tiny and white. Even though what I was doing wasn't really right, the tooth fairy wouldn't visit if she didn't have a tooth to take. Hmm. So I put a kernel of popcorn under my pillow as a replacement fake. Oh, and here is the popcorn under her pillow. Oh, and the Tooth Fairy is on her way. This child's tooth feels a little strange and doesn't look quite right. But I'll trade it for a silver dollar. Hop on my toothbrush and fly out of sight. Shop I go to add this tooth to my collection. But this one looks rotten. Hmm. Upon further inspection, it's too round to string and too tiny to glue. What can I do with this tooth? I don't have a clue. I call my fairy friends who come over skipping and hopping. But when they get closer to the tooth, all of a sudden, oh, it starts popping. Oh, oh my, pop, 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 pop. Popping everywhere. Oh, quickly it spreads from the floor to the ceiling. I know I should try to stop it, but it's hunger I'm feeling. There's nothing left to do but say, ah, and open wide. Popcorn rains in my mouth and fills me up inside. A few minutes later, oh, there isn't any mistaking. I feel really yucky because my tummy is aching. So I stay in bed and skip the work I need to do. But what's going to happen when everyone wakes up feeling blue? The grandmas and grandpas would be missing their dentures. <laughs> My friends wouldn't have necklaces for their dress up adventures. The night sky would be without all of its shiniest stars. Tooth fairies wouldn't have flying dust, so they'll have to drive cars. Suddenly, oh, it hit me. I had a hunch. Hmm, maybe she lost this tooth while she was having lunch. Hmm. 
Tooth Fairy sick. All fairies must work overtime. I go through the window for the second time tonight. I had to explain to this girl the difference between wrong and right. Mm -hmm. I tap on her shoulder and whisper in her ear, <clears throat> Lying won't get you anywhere. Do you hear me, my dear? It's best to be honest and always tell the truth. You should have just told me that you swallowed your tooth. Mm -hmm. She flashes me a smile with a toothless grin. And I feel a new friendship is about to begin. I'll leave you this notepad so you can write me a letter when you lose your next tooth. Hopefully it will work out much better. The end. Oh, about the author Lori Orlinsky. Lori Orlinsky is a multi-award winning children's book author. Oh, she's a lifetime member of the No Cavity Club. And her dentist always calls her a superstar brusher. Oh, and she even has another book called Being Small. I can't wait to read them all. Well, thank you so much, Lori, for gifting this book to the Tooth Fairy to gift to us. <laughs> My favorite part of the story was when the Tooth Fairy flew away, taking the little kernel of popcorn from under her pillow, thinking it was the tooth. And then when she flies it all the way up to her workshop, and then once up there, it went whoop! That one little kernel of popcorn popped into so much popcorn that it filled the whole workshop. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a popcorn party that must have been. Oh, what was your favorite part? Mm -hmm. No.
it says inside. Ooh. Oh my. Yep. Two. Certificate. With a little pocket again to keep my tooth. The tooth certificate reads. <coughs> shaking your head. Oh, I got so excited. Oh, oh, a pretzel. Oh, oh, thank you for offering. I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of a super big hero surprise, but maybe later. Well, she says that the tooth hero will make a special trip here soon to meet us all next time. Thank you for joining me, Miss Storybook. And I can't wait to read your next story. Until next time, remember to always keep your story cap handy. <laughs> because you never know when a happy ending is ready to be written by you. Oh.